It's been said that all truth passes through three stages. The first stage being denial, the second stage being violent opposition, and the third stage being widespread acceptance as common knowledge. Well, as you view this documentary, keep in mind that people watching will probably fall into one of those three categories. One group of people will absolutely deny that what they're seeing could possibly be true. The second group of people will be violently opposed to this kind of information being released, and they'll do everything that they can to discredit the messenger rather than pay attention to the message. And yet, there will probably be a third group of people that will sit back in their easy chair and say, I'm not surprised. I knew it all along. With this in mind, let's begin by playing a little word association. I'll say a word, and you think of the first word that comes to mind. Conspiracy theory is what most people think of. We've all been conditioned to associate the word theory with the word conspiracy, because after all, no conspiracies could possibly be true. They're all just theories, aren't they? Well, in the phrase conspiracy theory, there are two words. The first word, conspiracy. The second word is the active word, theory. By definition, a theory is a supposition, an idea, a concept, a hypothesis. Let me give you an example. In theory, if I purchase a raffle ticket, I could win a prize. Now, as long as I don't purchase a raffle ticket, my win is theoretical. But once you purchase a raffle ticket, the win is no longer a theory. It becomes a possibility. And the more raffle tickets you purchase, the more possible and eventually probable the win becomes. Such is the case with a conspiracy theory. As long as there is no evidence, it is a conspiracy theory. But once you have a piece of evidence, no matter how flimsy or circumstantial it may be, it becomes a possibility. And the more evidence that is gathered, the more possible and eventually probable the conspiracy is.